Ladies and gentlemen, our next bout is an M1 Challenge lightweight bout. После боя в Сочи я узнал, что следующим моим соперником будет Митчел Сильва. Я очень обрадовался, потому что я не хотел долго простаивать. Появилась возможность выступить, и я сразу незамедлительно согласился. Последний бой его с Алексеем Махно. Достойно он дрался, показал характер. Буду рад с ним встретиться в ринге. Я сою Мишел Сарито, атлета бразилейро, на Академии SD System. Ту на моя вторая лута в М1 Global. И не буду пропустить эту возможность, я буду дать лучшее для меня и выйти с победой. Высокий, неудобный, имеет длинные конечности, корявые немножко, по-нашему, по-русски говорят. Поэтому будем ко всему готовы. Я все это разобрал, буду стараться реализовать свои планы. Моя первая лута на М1 Global была очень полемика. Тоже дисцерны вещали, что я вынесли. Но я дал виктория на оппоненте, и я дал виктория, я буду делать диферент, и не дал на мою жизнь. После майского боя сразу полетели в Таиланд, буквально там немного там поготовились. Вернулся обратно на родину и сразу поехал в город Томск в авторскую школу, в школу Штором под руководством Александра Шименко проводил хороший сбор, на котором уже детально разобрали сильные и слабые стороны соперника. Agora tu vai provar a força do caboclo mais ou menos. Pois. Mitchell, без лишних слов. Давай увидимся и покажем красивый бой. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 Challenge lightweight bout. Now please welcome your first fighter to the rage. From Brazil, Michel Silva! Michel Silva from Brazil is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt who trains extensively in Muay Thai for his MMA career. Silva told me he wants to keep this fight standing, only go to his Jiu-Jitsu if the striking is not working in his favor. Of Silva's 18 pro MMA wins, 14 coming by way of knockout or TKO, eight of those 14 occurring in the first round. Silva said, as always, I want to be very aggressive with my striking. I want a fast start. I want to set a high pace. In our fighter meeting yesterday, Silva also talked about trying to be first in every single striking exchange. Silva said, I do not want to fall into the role of being the counter striker in this lightweight bout versus Pavel Gordia. Just touching gloves, it's Diego Davela. Trainer of Michel Silva and also his younger brother, Eliton Davela, who you will see in tonight's co-main event.
This bout number three of our sixth bout main card. 11 fights total tonight, including our five prelims that have already taken place. M1 Challenge 82 here in Helsinki. Ladies and gentlemen, now welcome your second fighter to the rage from Russia. Good! The Russian Pavel Gordiev with the opening eight fights in his pro MMA career. Seven victories, one loss. Of those seven wins, five coming by way of finish. Gordiev trained by Alexander Shlomenko. And like his mentor Shlomenko, Gordiev, a very creative and aggressive striker. He likes to throw spinning strikes. He likes to throw from very unusual angles. Gordiev said good footwork, head movement, constantly hitting angles in the stand-up are my keys to victory. Gordiev also talked about not standing in front of Michel Silva. He said, I want to keep Silva guessing. I cannot just stand there and trade. Two fighters who think striking first in MMA with very different approaches and strategies. Can they get us started in the machine framing? Ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 challenge bout in the lightweight division. Now introducing your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 20... He weighed at 69.6 kilograms. He stands 187 centimeters tall and has a record of 18 wins. Five losses with one draw. He is Jungle Fight title contender and Mr. Cage champion from Brazil, Michel Silva! And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 23 years old. He weighed in at 70.3 kilograms. He stands 176 centimeters tall and has a record seven win and only one he is multiple time regional MMA champion. He is silver medalist of the National Pancration Championship and finalist of the National Washu Sander Cup from Russia. Please welcome Pavel Gordiev. <laughs> and your referee for this bout, Mika Sinkinen. Hey, fighters. The gentlemen, you both know the rules, so let's make good angling fight. Back to your corners. In the lightweight division, the Brazilian Michel Silva versus the Russian Pavel Gordiev. Shots. Shots. Time ready. 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 Fight! Round number one. Black trunks for Silva, dark blue trunks for Gordiev. 
Silva does not have your typical lightweight physique. He is so tall, he must have one of the longest reaches in the lightweight division that I've ever seen. And to accentuate that height, he stands very tall in his striking pose. He's every lightweight's nightmare, to be honest, because he outreaches them with his hands, with the legs, and then obviously with the submissions from the guard, it is a lot... Over ...keeping that right hand planted. Pulling out with the jab. More fluid open striking style from Gordiev. As you would expect from a student of Alexander oh, Shlomenko. Good, right good hand. hand indeed. Silva using that reach advantage. Oh, he's cut him. There's a little cut above the eye, the left eye there. Gordiev with scar tissue in that left brow. And on that scar tissue, that's where the cut is opened. Silva again pawing out with that long left jab. Yeah, it's one thing having a long reach. It's another thing being able to use it. What a knee! Oh, he gets caught with the left hook! Gordiev is pushed the right hand! Gordiev looking to finish! The referee is close! Mika Sikhan and taking a really close look! Oh. Jack Hammer shots from Gordiev! Silva doing well to survive, but for how long? Sigan is still taking a close look, nearly stepped in on that hammer fist. Silva locking up, trying to get back he to his feet to clear up. his head. And he does successfully get back to his feet. Gordiev is looking for blood. Mika Sinkinen stepped in and then pulled back. He nearly stopped this fight. Big right hand from Gordiev. One more shot, that's all it's gonna take. He is on wobbly legs right now. Gordiev to the body. Swing and a miss from Gordiev. Looking for that knockout punch. So a lot of time remaining in round one. 2.30 to go before the end of this round. And again Good left with hand. A big right hand. Silva taking massive shots. Credit to, to Silva. He's still standing. Swing and a miss on the overhand right from Silva. Credit indeed machine. Silva standing tall, not throwing, but moving forward. Gordiev saw the finish line, just could not reach it. Well, Silva's moving nicely now. Obviously not as clear and as good as he'd like to, but it looks like his head is out of the clouds right now. Silva caught and dropped on the counter. He needs to move that head, he needs to, after he's thrown a shot, hard inside kick, he needs to circle that head out the way, nice body kick. Can you see Gordiev all the way out or all the way in? There's the spinning back kick, doesn't find the mark but it took Silva off of his striking line, 115 remaining round number one. Well Gordiev is doing exactly what he should do against somebody with really long limbs, a really long reach. He's getting on the inside, attacking, doing damage, and then getting out of the way. Well, he again walking forward, avoids that long left jab for Michel Silva. Silva nods his head. Step in knee from Silva. To be honest, that knee is a good weapon. The height of Silva. And the shortness of Gordiev, that knee will work well. But look at the punches, man. He's putting everything into them. Silva cannot take many of those. Gordiev cannot land from the outside. He explodes to the inside just like oh, that. Lands the left hand and then steps back out as he avoids the head kick. That's the recipe thus far for Pavel Gordiev in the stand-up. Spinning back fist that was on the shoulder. 15 seconds remaining round number one. Spinning back kick. Silva's now moving forward. This fight was nearly done in round number one. Referee Mika Sinkinen stepped in to stop it in favor of Gordiev, then decided to let the fight continue. Touch of gloves and we are moving to round two. Well, I take my hat off to Silva. Not many guys would have come back from that. That was 99% over, if not more. That was so close.
There's the cut. Pre-existing scar tissue in the left brow, and that opened by Silva in round number one on the face of Gordia. You will see the counter strike. There's the knee, and it's the left hand off of the counter. Wobbling. And then Gordiev coming in hard. Although Gordiev nearly finishing Michel Silva in round number one, and full credit to the Brazilian. Silva able to get back to his feet, clear his head. And here we go with round number two. Machine will now see what Michelle Silva can do with this second chance. Fight! He's got to use that long reach. He's got to, he's got to keep on the outside. If he sees Gordiev come forward, he's got to back off. This fight thus far has been all about range. Gordiev staying outside of Silva's long range, long jab. And then exploding in with strikes, just like that. Just like that, And Sean. then pulling back to the outside. Gordiev Machine is not fighting on the inside. He's not fighting in the middle ground. He's scoring points and then getting out of danger. Perfect striking. So we're going to miss with the right cross from Silva. See, the thing is, Silva now will be a little bit worried about attacking. Oh! As I see that, he clips him with the right hand. But I was just about to say, he'll be nervous about stepping in because he's getting tagged himself as he steps in. And when you've been rocked like he was in round one, he will be apprehensive. But we've not yet seen from Michel Silva the teep kick. He can throw the front and the rear teep. He's thrown some low kicks. Mainly relying on his punching thus far. We're going to miss with the right hand from Silva. Oh, nice work to the body. And Silva largely counter-punching here in round number two. The Gordiev long limbs and the heaviness on the front leg of Silva. I'm surprised that Gordiev is not kicking that. Even if he kicks the calf, that hurts. That can actually switch off the leg. I've seen many a fighter fall after a really hard kick to the calf. 320 remaining round two. Step in right hand. Well, that will be a range finder. He's pawing the jab, but not pumping it. Left hook on the inside. Silva nods his head yes, acknowledging yeah. that punch. But what Silva's doing, he's going back in a straight line. That's why he's getting caught. He needs to go back two steps and then circle. Silva not making use, by and large, of that incredible reach and range advantage. Is allowing Gordiev to stay so far outside that he is not in danger. This is a very smart tactical fight from pa Pavel Gordiev thus far. Yeah, Gordiev's doing everything he should Big be doing. Left hand. What is keeping Silva standing? Fade from Gordiev. Silva's mouth starting oh, to come open. And again, right hand. One, two. Hard on the inside kick on the knee, flush. Right hand on the forehead. Silva's going to start to get frustrated, I think. Swelling under the right eye now of Michel Silva. Absolutely frustrated, Michel. Well, if he does get frustrated, he's going to make mistakes, and that's going to get him hurt. And again, Good left hand. Left hook. The body jump knee from Silva lands. Gordiev walks right through it. We're not seeing the effective jab from Silva. We're not seeing teep kicks from Silva. Yeah. Jump switch knee, nothing there. Almost See how Gordiev is switch. moving to the side though. He's not going back in a straight line like Silva. When Silva goes for him, he circles. We go back to what Gordiev said in our fighter meeting. I cannot stand and trade. He has been true to his word. 
He punches in the pocket and then moves back to the outside. I'd like to see more low kicks from Gordiev. I think, I think that could work really well, beneficial to him. Because there's no attempt whatsoever from Silva with the takedown. 25 seconds remaining round number two. Silva continuing to move forward into your point machine. Gordy of not moving back in a straight line. Catching the kick. Silva helping himself to the ground. Gordy of allows him to stand. Final seconds of the second round. Yeah, why take the risk of going down with somebody with limbs like that? And we are moving to the third and final round. Yeah, blood on the right eye now there. There's Silva. Hard to see where the cut is. Less frantic pace in round two than we saw in round number one. But as in round number one, Pavel Gordia very effective with his striking. Exploding with combinations, mainly punches on the inside, and then moving back out of range. Silva wanted an outside fight, but he did not want Gordiev this far on the outside. Limited offense from the Brazilian Michel Silva in round number two. Closing stages, the kick caught. Silva really taking himself to the mat, and Gordiev allowed him to stand. Third and final round, lightweights. 18-6-1 Michel Silva, 7-1 Pavel Gordiev. Our Finnish referee Mika Sinkinen starts this third and final round. Well, Gordiev, I don't think will take any chances. Obviously, he'll try and look for the finish, but he's not going to take any chances. He knows he's two rounds up now. Round one could have even been a 10-8 round because it was nearly a finish. Absolutely. Outside kick from Gordiev. Something you were calling for in round two. Yeah, I do believe in leg kicks a lot. So with the right hand. For all the hand movement oh, of Silva. Left hand again. You're not seeing a lot of punches from Michel Silva. There just doesn't seem to be any snap in his punches. And I think that was because of the first round. It zapped everything out of him. Missing badly with that right hand. Oh! Tripling on the jab, Gordiev. That was impressive. Right hand on the step in from Pavel Gordiev. Well, I said Gordiev is not going to take any chances, but <laughs> he wants to finish this fight. There's no doubt about it. Nice work to the body. Well, fighters bleeding. Gordiev cut round one, Silva cut round number two. Inside kick from Pavel Gordiev. 3.30 remaining third and final round. Well, like I said at the beginning of round one, not many fighters at lightweight like to fight somebody as tall as Silva. The lanky, the rangy, the long, they move different. They're very dangerous on the ground. Oh. But Gordiev is handling this guy like a true pro. Machine, so many myths in MMA judging. One is if in striking you're continually coming forward, you're winning. Pavel Gordiev, classic example of dispelling that myth. He is mainly moving backwards, but not directly backwards, laterally backwards on his bike. It's largely Silva coming forward, and yet Gordiev is winning this fight, I believe. Yeah, it's how, it handily. it's how he's moving backwards. If you move backwards, if, uh, you know, you're avoiding it. Silva. But Gordiev is creating more damage as well. Tired looking overhand right miss for Michel Silva. Credit to Silva, he's still in this fight. But really, since that sequence where he was nearly finished in round number one, we've seen little to no offense from Michel oh, Silva. Nice knee by As Silva. I say that, he does land the knee. If you're the taller guy, it's always better to throw the knee. You have a great advantage. See how the movement's going to the side? That's perfect. Sure, the ropes are behind him, but he's been doing that all night. He hasn't been going back in a straight line. And again there, circling off to the side. 
lateral diagonal movement. Extremely effective from Pavel Gordiev. Nice right hand there by Silva. He felt good footwork would be imperative in his performance. He showed great footwork. Getting very late in this fight. 80 seconds remaining third and final round. Oh, left hand on the counter after the right from Silva. Largely machine, we're seeing one punch at a time from Michel Silva. Yeah, like I said, Sean, Gordiev, no, he's moving forward there again. He needs to be careful of that knee. He waves on Silva. Gordiev may be moving backwards, but he's creating damage and then moving backwards. To counter that one punch at a time, you just saw again a triple left jab from Pavel Gordiev. Good right hand from Silva. Oh, and again, you see the damage on the face of Gordiev. He has taken strikes from Silva. But again, largely they've been single strikes, not combinations. Whereas Gordiev has been very effective with his combinations on the inside. Again, you see multiple punches and then moving back outside. 15 seconds to go in this fight. Again, he still comes forward, Gordiev. Most fighters would just back off for the last 10 seconds. Only because he knows he's ahead. Will there be one more strike? There will not be. And that is the end of this lightweight battle. Well, what a great performance by Gordiev. You have to take your hat off to that big man there from Brazil. Silva did really well to avoid being knocked unconscious. What a great comeback, but not enough, I think, to take the win. Saw the cut under the right eye, Michel Silva. Silva showing tremendous heart and tenacity. Silva simply could not find his long range strikes. Could never find Gordiev in true striking distance. Show of class there from both fighters in their respective camps. The official decision, we will now go to Ian, the machine, Freeman. After three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard for a unanimous decision in favor of your winner, Pavel Gordiev! Michel Silva, look of disgust on his face. I have no idea I'm why. I'm here with your winner, Pavel Gordiev. Silva looked a little bit disappointed that he didn't get the decision. I'm surprised myself that he did that because the first round you were so close to finishing it. Are you surprised that he didn't go out and that he was so durable? Как мы видим, Силва не что победил не он, хотя мне кажется, и я думаю, всем кажется, что решение абсолютно объективное. Но в первом раунде мы видели, что ты был близок к тому, чтобы завершить бой досрочно. Uh, был ли ты, uh, удивил ли тебя то, что ты этого не смог сделать, насколько стойким он оказался и выдержал те удары? Hi, Saomi. Всем привет. Конечно, думал, завершу бой досрочно. Ну, с видео крепким оказался, и это лично моя недоработка, что я не завершил бой досрочно. За что извиняюсь перед тренерами и новым ну, потоком. Yeah, of course, I was expecting to finish this fight, but he is very durable, but it's also my fault and uh, my apologies to everybody. Unfortunately, I didn't finish this fight, but I won anyways. Did you feel that the reach advantage that I had, the height advantage, was a little bit of a disadvantage to yourself? 
because in the fight it didn't look so whatsoever. Were you worried about that? У него был большое преимущество, да, в габаритах, в длине рук, ног, но казалось, что это даже играет. Что-то им помогло или нет? Но он был медленнее. Я этим пользовался. В этом мне тренера мои подсказали, что он раз высокий длины конечности, значит у него будет проблемы со скоростью. Я этим пользовался, как мог. I was faster than him. My coaches told me that he is tall and he probably will be slower than me, and I used that, and eventually I won. Хочу поблагодарить свою своих тренеров Александра Шименко с авторской школы Шторм, Алексея Кунченко, Камбанию Новый Поток. Всем спасибо зрителям, что пришли поддержать нас. Мы это ценим. Всем спасибо. I want to thank my team, my sponsors, and all the fans in the audience who came here to support me. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Pavel Gordiev. Both fighters made it clear that they wanted to win this on the feet. Keep it standing. Michel Silva with his very traditional Muay Thai. Pavel Gordiev with his very creative MMA striking. The knee and the counter left hand. And nearly the finish then from Pavel Gordiev in round number one. Again, referee Mika Sinkinen stepped in to stop the fight, changed his mind and let it continue. Silva worked back to his feet. That wasn't the end, but that was the absolute beginning of the end for Michel Silva. Could never find his striking offense after that near finishing sequence. Gordiev controlling the range inside with flurries and combinations, and then back to the outside. See the running switch knee attempt, Michel Silva. Is he in the machine, Freeman said during our commentary in fight? Frustrated. Frustrated indeed. Now, 8-1 for the 23-year-old Pavel Gordiev in his rapidly emerging pro MMA career.